When disaster strikes around the world, the question always seems to be, what's the United States going to do about it? This book asks, why us? And why do we respond? Is it because we're a power-mad empire? I think not. If the United States didn't exist, it would have to be invented. And in a way it was, because what the founders discovered, after fairly short order, was that you could not get 13 states to agree all the time on anything. What we really are is a kind of umpire. It was an insight that I had, but then I went back to the writings of John Jay and James Madison and Alexander Hamilton and George Washington and found that that was the word they used, umpire. 13 states eternally squabbling would eventually come to blows. The idea of having an umpire to compel acquiescence, as they put it, between states. We think of you know, Barack Obama as being very different from George W. Bush or, or George Bush as being very different from Bill Clinton. But in fact, there is a, a historical continuity there that goes back to George Washington's getting on his horse during the Whiskey Rebellion and riding out to Western Pennsylvania and saying, on this matter, uh, this is what the umpire has decided. When Abraham Lincoln intervened uh, in the American Civil War and decided that the decision of the federal government would have to prevail, he was fulfilling the, the dream, the commitment, the promise, and in a way, the threat of the founders. After World War II, the world learned that there have to be some rules. And if there are some rules, then who enforces them? And what essentially evolved is the United States became the enforcer of last resort. When you have almost 200 equal nation states in the world, then how do you ever decide on what the rules are gonna be? I want people to walk away from this book saying, I understand now why the United States intervenes around the world. This role is a part of our constitutional DNA. There's nothing wrong with saying what's right about the United States. We've fulfilled a terrifically difficult and unprecedented role in the world. We have a lot to be proud of, but I think it's also time to reconsider. You only get other leaders if you put other people in positions of leadership. And good leaders develop new leaders. We don't have to do this forever. The fact is, there are no more empires. Thank you.